let us make the great beginning. In the neural tube, the nerve cells, where are they basically present? Who like to actually volunteer can uh, uh, pick up the mic and those who wanted to present their answer can please uh, raise the hand so that we will uh, forward the mic. Please uh, pass on one mic to the front end. Yeah, that is right. Yes, doctor. Uh, what is your answer? Proposed answer. Who has the mic? Yeah. Others also please do present uh, the answers. Who like to volunteer for uh, the speaker of the session? Please, please, opposition party at least. Uh, huh? As doctors, we are being uh, propped up and brought up in a very shyful manner. Somebody please uh, pick up the mic and uh, exchange the answers, that is the idea. Are Raju is carrying it like uh, Draupadi in Swayambaram. Nobody is accepting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Somebody who can volunteer. Yeah, our, uh, where is Ramakrishna? Is not there. Are Ramakrishna? And uh, we also have one more of our regular uh, participants. Yeah. If you give mic, you are afraid, doctor. My job is every day with mic only. Huh? Okay. So, what is your answer? At least still answers, do not mind. Middle mantle area, that is good. So, we have an intermediate or mantle area which contains the migrating neuroblasts and uh, the marginal zone which is under the outer limiting membrane, it contains the newly born neurons which are sending out the neurites is what you have to know the composition. The inner layer, central canal. The middle layer is the mantle layer which is the cellular area and the outer marginal layer is the one which is located between uh, the two. Now doctor, suborbital triangle if you want to expose the vertebral artery, you have to cut which important layer? Beautiful, that is what we wanted. Posterior atlanto occipital membrane is the one which is overlying the area of the vertebral artery some of you are going to be the finest neurosurgeons in the times ahead. So, you need to be quite sure on the neck triangles and their anatomy which is the favorite question. This is a little tricky question, meniscofemoral ligament, which part of the meniscus binds with originates from which part of the condyle is an important question. So, what is your answer? Posterior horn of the lateral meniscus is what need to be remembered. To the lateral aspect of the medial femoral condyle is the typical attachment is what you need to basically remember. So, two important ligaments doctor, Humphreys ligament is anterior menisco femoral ligament, Risberg's ligament is posterior menisco femoral ligament is what you need to ultimately remember. <coughs> Raju are you sure uh, the online broadcast voice is ok? Please check. Please ask our Secunderabad students to also to punch the answers. I am unable to see the answers. Yeah. With, ah. Correct. Anterior cruciate is from, uh, I will come back on that doctor, huh? uh, I, I, you, you have a valid point, but uh, we are talking about, I uh, will uh, come back on that, yeah. Uh, regarding vocal cord, what is your answer doctor? One loud answer, D, that is right. So, it is not ciliated columnar epithelium. What is the type of epithelium, doctor? Squamous or cuboidal? Basically, the lingual surface of the epiglottis, it is lined by stratified squamous and uh, the remaining part is by the respiratory epithelium is what we need to basically remember. Okay. Respiratory bronchioles, what is the type of epithelium? Give some confident answer. Cuboidal. Cuboidal. 
ciliated cuboidal right that is good very good oh except uh, that is what simple cuboidal clara cells and goblet cells they are all the various forms of cells and uh, it is a simple cuboidal but not ciliated cuboidal that is right now doctor one short quiz question which is not there in your question paper assume that state md entrance has become online like usmle you have got a picture diagram we are pointing towards a structure what is your answer doctor you like to say recto uterine pouch is it recto uterine pouch any other uh, anybody like to try recto what is the structure doctor so yeah let us check whatever online classmates are saying please do punch your answer recto uterine pouch of douglas is one option what is this structure you are seeing this part this is uterus doctor this is the pubic symphysis and this is what bladder okay 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 so there is a reason obviously it should be between rectum and the bladder ha huh. so that should be a recto vesical pouch good chloride channels of the neurons this is a little out of the place question we all know that uh, they do not open during the propagation of the nerve impulse because their opening is inhibitory in nature that will elicit ipsps instead of epsps what is your alternative answer <coughs> where is the mic mic is with you are given both the mics give it uh, to uh, the students so that uh, uh, you give it to hanif hanif is very very benign and uh, he love to at least pass it on to someone who like to answer because lot of students say uh, we are unable to listen what uh, audience are speaking so we want to make uh, audience voice voice over eh? and it say place of debating uh we need to fight shamelessly so that is very important get rid of all your uh, vocal inhibitions and uh, voice out like you do hooting in the college function we want all that hooting ha huh? all right doctor so what is your answer they are influenced by the sex hormones they increase both the gene expression and the functional expression of the chloride channel is what you need to remember how will glutamine antagonist basically function doctor question number 7 give me an answer uh very good by inhibiting the amido transferases that transfer the amide of the glutamine to an acceptor molecule can you give me an example this can be a future mcq in the exam which is a classical glutamine antagonist which is used uh, in the cancer chemotherapy acevisin is a glutamine antagonist that inactivates the glutamine amino transferases is what you need to remember then uh, generally it's a traditional question to ask uh, about chromatography and the different chromatographic techniques okay what's your answer got the mic you know just give the mic so that uh, if anybody want to uh, express the answer that can be also be heard ja hanif just pick up the mic yeah then uh, yeah what is your answer doctor yes sir size very good uh, you uh, have you put it on yes is it on yes. yeah that's good size size is very very important it is based on the size that we basically separate it what is phagocytosis give me an answer doctor ha huh, you like to say what is the answer ramkrishna ah uh, see sir 
that's good superoxide and hydrogen peroxide that's good now uh, which will not increase as a part of a acute phase reactant what do you like to say c albumin you like to say albumin albumin uh, are you able to give the voice to that mic yeah that's good albumin interleukin 1 interleukin 6 interleukin 8 tnf alpha all these things are basically involved so you have some uh, reactants which are called negative phase uh, uh, reactants in the acute phase reactions of inflammation so what are those negative acute phase proteins albumin transferrin transcoctin transthyrococtin retinol binding protein they are all the examples of negative acute phase proteins is what you have to basically remember aldose to ketose the organic chemistry teacher will be very happy if you answer it correctly yeah what is your answer isomerases is what need to be remembered what is the effect of citrate on the fatty acid biosynthesis you like to say it will activate huh? estrel co a carboxylase any other alternative answer right when do you require fatty acid biosynthesis when you have abundance or when you are starving abundance the presence of citrate is a marker of abundance of energy i know doctor because at the end of the glycolysis what is produced pyruvate pyruvate ultimately enters into citric acid cycle so the presence of a the uh, citrate in turn will activate the acetyl coa carboxylase and promote the fatty acid biosynthesis is what need to be remembered this is a very important interesting question what is epilipoprotein b48 who produces b48 who produces b100 between small intestine and liver you must be very sure number one which is the most important epiprotein of the chylomicron is another favorite question of the examiner one question on lipoproteins without that there is no paper yeah what is your answer excellent it is the terminal part of the epo b100 the epo b48 is exclusively produced only in small intestine what is the importance of chylomicrons chylomicrons basically carry the triglycerides that we eat in the chicken biryani mutton biryani etc etc so epo b48 is small intestine b100 is in the liver is what you need to basically remember now severe combined immunodeficiency what is the enzyme duck very good ha huh? adenosine d minus c sir C sir, answer. Yeah, this needs a correction. Um, this needs a correction that adenosine DMNA is deficiency, but not uh, uh, one question key correction. Huh? Now, whenever there is ultraviolet light, which nucleotide in DNA basically forms the dimers? Thymine. Thymine. Basically, it is the thymidine dimers which are important, and they are not. Uh, repaid in the case of the xeroderma pigmentosum now neonatal meningitis c very traditional question agalactosis the streptococcus the group b clostridium tetani versus other clostridial species how do you differentiate the spores doctor huh? give me a confident answer question number 17 online students please punch your answers we are very much watching your answers please ask our sikindrabad students also uh, to um, he is able to arrange uh, the discussion there right okay so what's your answer terminal and round is the classical description avoid subterminal spores are what you see with uh, perfringence and botulinum tetani has got round terminal spores what is asked tetani only no ah it is very important serenis test which is no more used 
because animal rights activists will be protesting outside your laboratory. Uh, what is your answer? Enter an invasive E. coli. Very good. Similarly, Shigella. There is a rapid keratoconjunctivitis which will be developing when placed in the conjunctiva. What is the immediate hypersensitivity, doctor, out of all this? Cassini. Very good. J chain, which is a goblin? Ig? A. Very good. Staph is basically? Huh? B, sir. B. Gram? Positive cocci which are present in the form of clusters, not in the chains. Renal impairment. Huh? C, C, Ram Krishna, what is C, the answer? C, C. C. That's right. Doxy. <coughs> Broad spectrum, which can be very much used in uh, renal failure. Another very common question is. Which cephalosporins can be used safely in renal failure is another common question. Ceftriaxone, cefaparazone, cefactor are the three important cephalosporins safely given in renal failure because they are not renally eliminated is another favorite MCQ. Cefactor, ceftriaxone and ceftriaxone, tricolored flag. Triaxon, Safakler. Huh? Now, what is preferred for neurocystic causes? Anybody like to say praziquantel? Albandazole? Very good. In fact, praziquantel is considered to be more expensive than albandazole and it is less effective than albandazole. Making albandazole the best choice is what need to be remembered. Both zero order and first order. Both phenytoin and uh, theophylline are known to have such a proclivity. Uh, this is one of the most uh, digested question. This also if you do wrong, you need a special insurance policy. Huh? <laughs> so doctor, be very sure. Adenosine. Adenosine. All these are immunosuppressive, which is immunostimulant. I know, you are all brilliant students, another two months. From January onwards, we will have both Sunday and Wednesday. Weekly two tests. Test to discuss, test to discuss. And next two months, we need to be in a uh, maniac state. Rise with energy, go to sleep with energy. But you must be brimming with high enthusiasm only to attack once the question paper is given in the March first week mostly in the state MD entrance. Now doctor, carbamazepine, what is your answer? D. Classical question this is. D sir, D. Beautiful. In fact, it will exacerbate the absent seizures is what you need to basically remember. It is ineffective even for the atonic myoclonic seizures and also for the absent seizures for these three important seizure groups. It is ineffective is what you need to basically remember. You do not have which criteria? B sir. Jokes are for? Infective endocarditis. All are HIV associated neoplasms except D. not the nasopharyngeal carcinoma. All are inherited syndromes of defective DNA. B. Huh? B, B. Blooms or uh, B. B. Bloom B. is uh, defective DNA. Stooge Weber. That's right. Then cystic teratoma can become squamous cell. Yes. Melanoma, thyroid, anything. Teratoma is basically a potential tissue which is basically present inside it. What will predispose to sickling? Acidosis or alkalosis? Acidosis. Acidosis but not a alkalotic pH which is not a GI syndrome. Bloom is not a GI syndrome but Cowden's, Gardner's, all these uh, cocaine and turquoise. that's right. Very good. 
probably without revising along with you on Sundays, I would have long, long forgotten many textbook authors' names also. You ask uh, a uh, what you call uh, a gastroenterologist or a medicine professor of uh, uh, who is associate professor, what is the textbook for ENT in general medicine professor? They won't remember. You ask them, do you know what is meant by NASA? Uh, what you call um, juvenile nasopharyngeal fibroma? Medicine professor won't remember. But uh, you made me a special medicine professor to remember everything, every week uh, making me to revise with you, including death sentence who will give also I have to remember. Assistant so, <laughs> tell me doctor, yeah, what is, uh, it is aborted by? And at the age of 40, if I am able to remember, at the age of 22, 23, you should remember, right? So, there is a deal. What is the answer? Additional sessions judge is the one who can give the capital punishment out of all those uh, people, right? Now, uh, membrana pupillaris, disgusting question. When will it disappear? Yeah. Very good. Uh, actually speaking, uh, there is one small table, doctor. Which type of judge can give how long punishment for how much money is one table? Uh, extempore, it is difficult to pull out the facts, uh, but uh, we have it already reviewed in our uh, regular class. So, probably uh, this session on Sunday, what we do is we will argue the critical points. If A is right in your opinion, if B is right in our opinion, why not A, why not B, at most in that short time given. But yeah, your point is valid uh, and that is also a common question asked, which judge and uh, how long and how much fine, there is a table, we will supplement that. Huh? Now, membrana pupillaris, what is your answer? One confident answer, give to the doctor the mic, at least we have some vocal uh, feministic doctors uh, who can ask questions and debate, that is what all is required doctor, tomorrow ultimately when you become a radiologist, when you become a physician and a clinician, you need to marshal your facts and bring out the true diagnosis and relieve the suffering of the patient, that is all is, when we are analytical, we are doctors, we are not analytical, we are not vocal we cease to be a good medical scientist. So, what is your answer? 6 days. It is after 28 weeks of intrauterine death. If some uh, uh, baby is born, you want to know what is the age of a, uh, 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 of a newborn. One of the ways and the clues is looking for the membrane of pupillaris. How do you do the postmortem? Yes, doctor. What is your answer? Kuch. Aapka rai bhi bata hai. I wrote in D, sir. Huh? I wrote in D, sir. Mike, Mike. Mike is there, no? Are? I have written it D, sir. You written it as D. Very good. We are happy to know somebody can write D. Any other answer? D. D. Is the audio of the other two mics, is it audible? Just adjust the mic of the others. It is not audible. Other mics, just check that. Yeah. What is your answer, doctor? D. 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 Abdominal cavity. Abdominal cavity. More specific test to detect the blood stains. Excuse me, sir. I know what is your question. Why abdominal cavity? <laughs> right? <laughs> you, 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 uh, your name, doctor? Nafis. Huh? Nafis. Nafis. N A P H I. N A F E Z. Nafis. I used to be exactly like Nafis as an undergraduate student. I am finding one more reincarnation. Good. Uh, so, I too actually did not uh, get time to prepare as to why they have open abdominal cavity. Sir, can I, um, like uh, in the newborn baby, the first thing we, s we try to see is like whether it is a stillbirth or a dead, whether it is a stillbirth or a live born. Okay. So, for that, we can go for two cavities, it is either chest cavity or abdominal cavity. 
right? Uh, but I have a confusion in them, like why abdominal. So that's the reason you thought it as modified T5 incision. I uh, felt it is some. some we'll check that. <laughs> Actually, uh, maybe there must be a reason why they've opened up abdominal cavity. Uh, Raju, can you slightly bring down the voice of me? Uh, yeah, Dinesh is giving one very good answer. Because to check out whether lungs are inflated or not, then the answer should be D, you mean to say? Oh, B should be the answer, you mean to say? We'll come back. Actually, I didn't have time to prepare for this uh, answer. I thought uh, as an authority you will agree with what I say, but I don't know. So many strong protestants are available among the audience. At the level of? Oh, you mean to say abdominal cavity we open to know the level of the diaphragm so that we can know whether the lungs are inflated or not. So, Shahid is also supporting the abdominal cavity answer, uh, but anyway, we will check that. Uh, Raju, can you make my, my voice slightly less? Yeah. All right. Good point. Now, we are enjoying the Sunday. More specific test to know the blood strains is? More specific? Tickman? Tickman? There are some presumptive evidences and there are certain confirmatory evidences, doctor. If you take the uh, confirmatory test, Tickman and Takayama's test are considered to be confirmatory tests is the point that makes them more specific. Screening should always be a more sensitive test. That's the basis. Ha, this is a wonderful question. Definitely once more going to come in, in a, the state MD entrance. Which is not a sexual perversion? One loud answer. Hussein, what is your answer? You are our known uh, nearest authority in this subject. Quickly tell me. No, no, I mean in the subject of forensic medicine. Why are you angry like that? Uh, yeah, come on, tell me, doctor. Some, some, some answer. Huh? Sodomy? Any other answer? A. Indecent assault. That means tapping on the buttock by a police officer in a fully drunken state in a party. One of the colleagues, he has tapped on the buttock and pinched slightly. So, you think that is uh, not a perversion? What is that? Excellence. <laughs> no, doctor. You must know simple fact that the sexual offenses are divided into unnatural and natural offenses. Where there is no penetration involved of the male genital organ, you call it as a sexual perversion. In indecent assault, he is only tapping the buttock, he is not doing uh, anything else. Yes. Transvestism, a man wearing the women's underneath is basically not penetrating anything. Sadism, somebody beating somebody and getting sexual derivation is not penetrating, but sodomy is penetration. So, that is the reason the answer become B. So, persistently indulged sexual acts in which complete satisfaction is obtained without penetration and sexual intercourse become the sexual perversions by definition. This was very often asked in the MD entrance, let me tell you. You take previous Ames question bank or even our own uh, state MD entrance question bank. This is a favorite question. 1 is to 3, what is your answer, doctor? Ram Krishna? First, first, first quartile. Third quartile. First, sir. Huh? First Sorry. quartile, sir. First B. quartile. B. First B. quartile. 3 is to 1 become the third first quartile. We need... Uh, uh, a change, okay. Uh, already it is first quartile. This is a beautiful question, doctor. You answer it means you learned biostatistics. Nafis, aapka answer kya hai bide? Bar chart. Huh? Bar chart, spot map, and pi diagrams, BSP. These were non continuous data. Super. Very good. 
सिंपल आंसर डॉक्टर यू रिमेंबर वी यूज बार बैग ग्राफ फॉर द डिस्क्रीट डेटा एंड वी यूज द हिस्टोग्राम्स फॉर कंटिन्यूस डेटा वॉट इज डिस्क्रीट डेटा मेल आर फीमेल देर कैन बी समबडी स्लाइटली मेल स्लाइटली फीमेल टॉल आर शॉर्ट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंटिन्यूस डेटा Somebody can be this tall, this tall, this tall, this tall. Grades are possible. That become continuous data. For or similarly, weight of an individual, continuous data, not discrete. Pregnant or not pregnant is discrete data. What the answer you get is yes or no. You can get slightly pregnant, more pregnant, less pregnant. वो सब नहीं होता. Right, doctor? So for continuous data, we use histogram. For discrete data, we use bar diagram. But how will you remember? We cannot sit continuously in a bar. <laughs> Don't tell Dr. Murli Bharadwaj teaches so crudely. Some way to remember. We don't sit continuously in a bar, and we need to use discretion when we are in bar. So discrete data is basically bar gram. What is arrive? Ogive is a cumulative histogram, basically. So you draw a graph that can be used to determine how many data values above or below a particular value is in the data. Once more, it is used uh, just like histogram uh, in the case of the continuous data. Chi-square is basically for what? What is your answer? Nothing is B. A. Associate. You mean to say association, not correlation? But I am not clear, sir. Need explanation? I need to. Uh, I need to explain it. That's the reason you are paying me the fee. I agree. Huh? So, uh, association and correlation. Which one does it uh, basically indicate? Association. Since you are already correct, I don't need to explain. <laughs> Now, uh, to calculate predictive value of the negative test, what is the denominator? Hussein, what is your answer? Some confident answer. C, sir. C. C, ah? Huh? C. Beautiful. So you have number of true negatives by number of true negatives plus number of false negatives becomes the uh, negative predictive value. HIV. What is the characteristic feature? Ah? Huh? C. Very good. it is such a heat sensitive virus good news is if you happen to expose to the blood tinged syringe which is already there uh, for 5 uh, to 10 minutes exposed to atmosphere already the hiv inside it is killed got it that's the reason uh, some of you are going to have hiv needle pricks that may scare you properly huh? i had twice hiv needle prick so nothing happens only thing is one month you need to abstain from the sexual activity which is a difficult job now uh, uh, what is uh, what describes the gene therapy basically introduction of the gene sequence into the cell ha ek question to doctor reservation against cancellation or confirmed reservation or categories rehta na railway south central railway mein bhai se डॉट्स कैटेगरी में एक क्वेश्चन के बिना पेपर है तो मुझे पूछो नफीस हा? कल के एग्जाम में डेफिनेटली व्हाट योर आंसर सी सर न्यू न्यू केस आर ऑल अंडर कैटेगरी वन इज वॉच यू नीट रिमेंबर रिलैप्सेस फेल्यूर्स एक्सेट्रा दे ऑल कम अंडर कैटेगरी टू फॉर कैटेगरी थ्री व्हाट इज द बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट डॉक्टर देर इज नो There is no category three. Category three is no category one. Category three is being removed, eh? Yes, sir. Oh. Category one. I think uh, then we need to change the uh, uh, wording. Okay. All right. What is the mosquito vector for the Japanese encephalitis doctor? Huh? Culex. Culex Vishnuai. Uh, this is another very very disgusting question. Ah, uh, bolo. Which category do you put the people who had a solid needle 
having superficial scratch. Somebody, A, Ram Krishna with Mike, what is your answer? Yes, sir. EC1? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what? EC1? Yeah. See, doctor, to know the exposure status, we classify like this. Few drops of infected blood for short time is EC1. Many drops splash several minutes is EC2. Solid needle is basically EC2. And if it is any percutaneous exposure, which is more severe, you call it as EC3. So, solid needle basically comes under EC2 is what you need to appreciate. Now, doctor, uh, once more, based upon what type of uh, exposure it is, there is a treatment algorithm. I leave to you in the literature. <coughs> Working together for MD entrance preparation is which year's uh, WHO slogan? Yeah. 2006 outdated question by chance came back every year doctor WHO will give one slogan add age to age day, working together towards health like that it's always good what is 2013 slogan anybody knows what is 2013 slogan prevent hypertension prevent hypertension, prevent hypertension. Prevent hypertension. Prevent hypertension. superb that's good uh, next one question on biomedical waste. I keep asking every time one question until the exam. So tell me what is your answer? Four. Four? That's right. So, like a washer woman, you should study this topic. How do you dispose the biomedical waste? Red, red bag, blue bag. Is there any blue bag? Black bag, yellow bag, every bag you must be ready to wash and go to exam. Now comes our general medicine. Sudden onset of high fever, myalgias and hacking cough in a farmer from Bihar. What is your answer? Yes. C. C sir. Chlamydia city. C. Chlamydia. Chlamydia? Yes. But he is in slaughterhouse, not in a bird house. Slaughterhouse is different from bird house, Ramakrishna. Coxiella huh? Bernicia. Cumulative uremic syndrome. Ram Krishna, what is your wrong answer? <laughs> no, no. D, sir. D. D, uh, D. No, no. Remember, Ram Krishna, all the audience across India are listening to you. They feel confident when you answer wrong. You think your classmates will be happy if you answer correctly? Right? So, people ask questions only to discover that you don't answer. Generally, there is a rule uh, when you prepare for PG entrance. So, it is up to you to decide whether to make other guy happy or uh, unhappy. If you want to make him happy, answer more wrongly. Huh? So, please tell me what is your answer? D. D. Very good. Vibrio calorie. Platelet disorder versus clotting factor disorder. What is the differentiator? Nafis, after wrong answer kya hai? Correct answer is D, sir. D, eh? <laughs> oh. Then I don't need to explain. <laughs> so, bleeding is a problem in? Clotting factor deficiency like hemophilia, that is good. AIDS related lymphoma, which statement is not true? Primary CNS lymphoma, in fact, is seen quite often in retroviral uh, state only. Allergenic BMT does not lead to D, D, impotence, but it leads to infertility. They two are different, doctor. Huh? So, CML with Philadelphia chromosome, what is your answer? Question number 56. 56? Uh, you like to say Philadelphia negative patient uh, can still have BCR. Right? 50 percent of them can still have BCR. Positivity is what you need to basically remember. That is good. Even Mamta, everyone is answering as the answer D. Poor prognostic indicator of CLL is what? <coughs> ah, yeah, except. 
because it comes in old age that's the reason it doesn't come anyway in young age so after 60 65 only you will find CLL so old age is not a prognostic marker poor prognostic marker is sir, what you need to know sir in that question 13 Q is good prognosis no sir which one 13 Q abnormality chromosomal analysis showing trisomy 12 and 13 Q are considered to be among the bad prognostic uh, Poor prognostic features among the list. 13 Q is good, sir. Trisomy 12 is bad, according to Harrison. Are you sure? Yes. I thought since anyway D is definite answer, I didn't check about to B. Uh, so, but trisomy 12 and 13 are very well known uh, to be associated with poor prognosis. Rectoperitoneal fibrosis, very digested question. What is your answer? Methysergid. That's good. Urethral syndrome is due to all these things except with the negative culture. Now comes the deciding moment. Nafis, aapka rai kya hai? D syphilis. You like to say? D syphilis. Syphilis. B. No, D. D, D. D syphilis. D for syphilis. Doctor. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Syphilis. Sir, I have a doubt. Yeah. My DNB question was uh, sterile pyuria in an acidic medium. What is the dia what is the cause? Options were tuberculosis or uh, tumor. Um, we will catch up that question at the end. Huh? So, uh, uh, because uh, that is a very, very common and a very good question on acidic urine and alkaline urine uh, depending upon uh, the type of organism that can grow. Now, which is the predisposing cause of the renal stone? Huh? Renal tubular acidosis type 1. All differences between type 1 and type 2, you need to be 100 percent sure, doctor. Is it jejunal disease or ileal disease? It is the ileal disease which is the predisposing factor. Rugger jersey spine, why do you see in chronic renal failure, doctor? Huh? CNF, C, secondary hyperparathyroidism, right? Yes. Answer given was wrong. Uh, but before uh, what provokes hyperparathyroidism? Hypocalcemia. What provokes hypocalcemia? Renal failure will cause loss of calcium absorption, so hypocalcemia. Loss of vitamin D formation vitamin leading D to formation hypocalcemia. Calcium. But between the two. I think hyperparathyroidism, secondary hyperparathyroidism becomes a better answer. So, correct answer would be uh, option C, huh? so a small change. Eh? Uh, but if you, if the examiner want to ask what is the most underlying cause, that becomes osteomalacia because of the vitamin D deficiency. Huh? Now, which protein is not reduced in uh, nephrotic syndrome, doctor? <laughs> Honey? B. Huh? B. B. Fibrinogen? Superb. What happens to fibrinogen Ramakrishna? Increased. It increases. That's Increase. the reason it leads to prothrombotic state also. Huh? Hyperlipid. Ah. Then uh, interstitial nephritis is not due to which drug you are against? Nafis. My wrong answer is C, sir. Diuretics? Good guess, though, wrong answer. What is your uh, alternative answer if given another? B. Glucocorticoids. Beautiful. Glucocorticoids, in fact, will help in renal recovery. They are not the predisposing factor. Nephrocalcinosis, what is your answer, doctor? Huh? Medullary sponge kidney does not lead to nephrocalcinosis, but milk alkali, distal RTA, sarcoidosis, in all these scenarios, you find uh, the presence of nephrocalcinosis is what need to be remembered. Excuse me, sir. Can you please explain between the difference between medullary sponge kidney and medullary cystic kidney? We will make a note. This that requires uh, that is a good point. Actually, I used to also have a doubt on uh, so many terminology in the uh, cystic diseases of the kidney. Huh? A, that kind of topics basically you need to put up the sleeve, take a paper and then 1, 2, 3, 4 you need to explain. Uh, uh, it is a good point, uh, we will uh, add it up. Now, late dumping syndrome, what is your answer, doctor, versus early dumping? 
Huh? It is due to hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. Early dumping is really due to dumping of hyperaspolar content into the uh, proximal part of the small intestine. Intrahepatic cholestasis, what is except? Nafis, what is your answer? Please volunteer. Huh? D seen often in elderly multipara is not uh, the truth according to our doctor. Yeah, any other answer? Any other innocent answer? Anil, you agree with the same? Huh? That's good. Everything about intrahepatic cholestasis you need to be sure. It is caused by OCPs. It can be prescribed by OCPs. And uh, there is a chance of premature delivery and fetal distress if the woman develops intrahepatic cholestasis. If in this pregnancy, if a woman suffers it, there is a chance of recurrence. There are three conditions you know, no? PUP, intrahepatic cholestasis, HELLP, viral hepatitis in pregnancy. How do you differentiate between these four? Before Nafiz asks, that is a very common topic. Huh? We need to be quite sure on. Uh, which we discussed, of course, in our obstetrics classes. We discussed it uh, 5 to 8 p.m. classes. We have uh, wonderfully discussed and put it on video library. But uh, extempore, it takes a little longer time. But that is an issue that we need to be very sure when we go to the exam. Okay. Prophylactic antibiotic therapy. What is not included? Give a confident answer. Huh? Sharad? Excellent. Doxy is not included. Which lead, which leads to my, macrovesicular hepatic steatosis? Huh? Except alcoholic liver disease and tetracycline. They lead mainly to microvascular. What was asked today? Sir, except, sir. Oh, except was asked, no? Uh, I think. Uh, sir, D. Yeah, we will we will recheck the answer. D is not the answer because alcoholic liver disease and tetracycline they are known to lead to microvascular um, hepatic steatosis. Why is pancreatic ascites? What is except about it? Some confident answer? Excellent. It is not secondary to tubercular infection. It is due to leaking of the pseudocyst or a fistula between pancreatic duct and peritoneal cavity is what need to be remembered. That's right. Pseudocyst is quite often a complication not in an acute state. So that's the reason ascites is not a problem when the pancreatic disease is acute in origin. Huh? Oh, acute pancreatitis was also there. Eh? We will check about the C. Huh? Yeah. Dressing apraxia is a dysfunction of? By mistake it was printed as ataxia, but correct it as apraxia. Huh? What is your answer? Non-dominant parietal hemisphere. Even answer need to be corrected. It was given wrongly as temporal. Make it uh, non-dominant parietal in the key. Printed key. Prosopagnosia. Ka matlab kya hota hai nafis? Inability to recognize face. Anjan marna. Is the other name given for prosopagnosia. Huh? So... Uh, what is it because of? Except. So it is due to the bilateral infarction of posterior cerebral arteries. This also a correction in the key is required. So why do we give so many mistakes in the key given? Because we don't want to encourage people to go through the Xerox papers. If they don't attend discussion, uh, they will uh, remember suo moto the wrongs in the key. So, uh, that is how we wanted to victimize them. So, that is the main reason. Huh? 
may be to justify our mistakes. Now, can Philip act to Jajani and Gulenbari? This is a little tricky question. Does normally, in all cases, Campylobacter jejuni is preceding in, uh, event? No. Some cases of Gulenbari is preceding event. Gulenbari is what? Acute post-infectious polyneuritis, demyelinating polyneuropathy. All neuropathies are divided into two groups, demyelinating neuropathies and axonal neuropathies. The speciality of a Campylobacter jejuni induced Gulenbari is it is more often an axonal type of polyneuritis rather than demyelinating type of polyneuritis. So, what is the speciality of that? Give me one confident answer. You are able to follow me? No. It went uh, above the brain, right? Simple doctor, copper wire plastic coating, axon myelin. Any neuropathy occur either because of copper wiring, axonal neuropathy or due to the overlying plastic coating, demyelinating polyneuropathy. Most of the times, Gulenberry is acute post-infectious demyelinating polyneuropathy, AIDP it is called. But whenever it occurs due to Campylobacter, it is often axonal type rather than demyelinating type. So, that will ultimately affect the prognosis basically. So, there is a reason correct answer is actually um, Correct answer is actually B, not even C, B, B. Higher incidence of autoantibodies are seen in those with the GI symptoms. It is not D, it is not C, but B, huh? be very sure. Now, locked in syndrome, Nafis, locked in syndrome is due to the lesion in which part of the brain? Ventral pons or ventral medulla also. Medulla or uh, pons uh, or midbrain? Pons. Pons. Because pons is the center for efferentiation, motor output. Thalamus is the center for all efferentiation. That is what we need to remember. So, when the pons is affected, is the reticular activating system is also affected? No. Since it is not affected, how will be consciousness? Intact. In locked up syndrome, where there is a pontine myelinolysis, there is no involvement of RAS, reticular activating system. Hence, person's consciousness is intact. But he can't move the limbs. So, he will be lying down like a frog in the bed, uh, moving his eyes. Uh, so, that is very, very important. Patient is conscious. Greatest ischemic risk zone. Aapka betting goes to which option? T10, T11 is one answer I am listening. Hussain, you are our authority. Tell me, sir. What is your answer? Huh? T10 and T11. Ram Krishna? Same, sir. 74. Our online authorities are uh, little slow to answer. They will be answering. T3 and T4. T3 and T4 is called the most ischemic zone. Our online students must punch the answers. Now, Huntington's disease, which is not a correct statement, Doc. Huh? Come on. Please come out with your. Uh, who said D? Can raise the hand. Oh. Rigidity is a feature of extrapyramidal system. Huntington's chorea involves cogwheel only. Actual name is cogwheel rigidity. We do not have energy to say the entire word. We keep saying rigidity, rigidity. Right? So, do you have early memory changes or uh, dementia is a late feature? Dementia is a late feature in case of the Huntington's chorea. Okay, doc? Now, you do not see any primary tumor, but suddenly you discovered secondaries in the brain. Only two cancers are notorious to lead to that. Lung cancer. Lung cancer. Excellent. One is lung cancer, which is not there in the options. Melanoma. Second is? Melanoma. Superb. Melanoma. Melanoma. 
स्मॉल सेल लंग कैंसर इन मेलेनोमा बाहर कुछ भी नहीं दिखता पेशेंट आफ्टर सिक्सटी फाइव कम्स विथ सीजर्स फर्स्ट टाइम वेन यू वैल्यूएट यू विल डिस्कवर दैट दैट मेडिस्टेसिस आफ्टर डूइंग ब्रेन बायोप्सी इज ए स्मॉल सेल लंग कैंसर मेडिस्टेसिस Hospital acquired pneumonia. You don't use. What's your answer, doctor? Penicillin is uh, nowadays uh, outdated drug in the pharmacy. At least for, uh, at least for hospital acquired pneumonia. Emphysema. Me, what do you see? What you don't see, rather. I know. I know. Good number will answer correctly, but wrong answer I want to know. Nafis, your answer is what? D. D. Ah, you are giving the right answer. So intercostal widening, space widening is what you typically come across. Low molecular weight versus the unfractured heparin. What is the main difference? Except doesn't need monitoring, so there is no risk of any bleeding. super there is less risk of uh, 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 there is a less hemorrhagic complication as compared to conventional heparin chup thoracostomy in empyema what are the indications you need to be 100% sure correct indications not your imaginary indications what is your answer tb pleural effusion is uh, like uh, how it is it's like a, a very thin consistency you don't need a tube that cost me for that there's all the remaining things are the indications doctor all the list of indications for tube that cost me you will have to remember i am not giving the list here it is available in davidson harrison anybody's grandson uh, so uh, there's no point in repeatedly giving it in the explanatory booklet make the booklet fatter booklet is like a uh, explanatory booklet we give is like a uh, non reusable condom you need to check what is the right answer wrong answer and throw it away don't keep on once more underlining in that upper lining in that like it is the, you know it's like uh, after your death you can't carry everything so all the notes which you underline uh, don't do obsessively you can't carry it to the exam hall you need to catch points that's important ये क्वेश्चन बताओ डॉक्टर इफ यू आंसर इट करेक्टली यू आर अवर इंपेंडिंग कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट नफीज आपका राय क्या है टीजीए टीजीए ट्रांसपोजिशन ऑफ ग्रेट आर्टरीज वेरी गुड मुंह की बात छीन लिया इट इज कॉल्ड एस प्लीज गिव वन बिग क्लैप डॉक्टर बिग क्लैप बिग क्लैप आई एम नॉट लिसनिंग यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू अप्रिशिएट द ओनली वोकल कजिन ऑफ अस दैट्स गुड i am happy to know basically if you take transposition of great arteries kya ho raha hai transposition of great arteries mein aorta is arising from pulmonary arteries arising from left ventricle when there is a criss cross there how will a baby survive unless some other place there is a criss cross once more minus into minus become plus so vsd or pd or asd some other uh, uh, one more uh, criss crossing should happen whenever tga exists with a large vsd classically how will you identify doctor cardiomegaly will be there with a pleuritic lung field is a classical way basically you recognize